previously on Horrible Film Recaps. Ooh, I found the source code for the day after. I don't like roses, but it turns out I do like milky tea. Who wants kid squishins? And now on to our feature presentation. This is actually the movie about the erotic adventures of the Bond villain, Jaws. After a long day of working at the slaughterhouse, this hippie chick undresses and jumps in the ocean because she feels not so fresh. We'll never get that smell out of the ocean. She really sucks at water ballet. She's also a buoy hugging hippie as well. She forgot she has several tons of pebbles in her pocket. The original ending of Disney's Little Mermaid was a lot darker than it needed to be. Chief Inspector Thumper recognized this as the work of the mythical non-octopus Sharktopus. The beast also attacks a boy who has pressurized ketchup packets in his underwear. This evil wizard wants to exact revenge on the mythical beast because a drawing of the beast ate a drawing of his father. These men are going to boil a roast in the ocean. They throw it in, secured to a hemorrhoid donut. The roast tries to make a run for it. It destroys the pier, and one of the men falls into the ocean. The pier gets angry, turns around to teach him some manners. Hester Prynne voices her displeasure at being labelled a hussy. Roscoe and Thumper cut open another beast that they found under some couch cushions. I know, I put Luke in here last night. See, here's his Tauntaun's license plate. After digging inside the beast, around the clock for three straight days, Roscoe realised, wait, I think I put him inside of a platypus. Welcome to One-Eyed Willie's Playhouse. Roscoe and Thumper go to see the evil wizard for help. He's boiling beast teeth so he can lick them because it gives him sexual powers. Through the teeth and the glass, the floating fortress is on your ass. Finally, he sees the non-octopus Sharktopus. The evil wizard sends his minions out to chase the beast, but they would rather hide and frolic in the water. The Surgeon General has concluded that smoking is hazardous to your floating fortress. Roscoe is punished, put in his shame cage and sent to pick up trash on the bottom of the ocean. The Sharktopus tries to mate with the floating fortress to create a hybrid non-floating octopus fortress Sharktopus. The evil wizard doesn't want the beast to eat his new sneakers. Don't you have that in a suppository? Look at M. List. No, no, I want you to pull the thing out of my mouth with the stick. Oh, just give me the damn thing and I'll do it myself. This non-octopus Sharktopus is defective. Here we see the fledgling, floating, non-octopus Sharktopus fortress taking its first swim into a wider world. Finally freed from the dock, the angry pier wanders the earth, putting right which once was wrong. This concludes the movie recap. This movie made me a little bit sad. But if a non-octopus Sharktopus can find the value in human life, then maybe the evil wizard wouldn't have given up on his dreams of becoming a chimney-sweeping belly dancer. Good day to you all. If you enjoy my nonsensical ramblings, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. 